Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video on why I do not sub for sub. I don't know why that first part came out a bit whispered, but yeah, why I do not sub for sub. Um, I've written down quite a few notes, so do excuse me if I'm constantly looking down. I just have a fair bit to say and I want it to be as articulated as, as I can be um, without coming across as rude or pretentious or anything like that. I just want to make this very clear because it's something I'm constantly asked and I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> and here's why. Before I get properly started into this, when people ask me for a sub for sub, it's usually completely unrelated to what I do. So it's quite clear they haven't taken the time to check out my content and have an actual desire to want to connect with me and like share each other's experiences and hopefully collaborate. It's just they want an extra subscriber if you know what I mean. When I respond to people I always make it a point for me to say sorry no I don't sub for sub or sorry it does say no sub for sub in my tags or like in my Instagram um, biography bit but I do let them know oh I what's your channel about like let me know what it's about and if it sounds interesting to me I'll give it a check out and sometimes I don't say that but I'll still check their channel out anyway uh, maybe leave a comment if it's a video that I ended up liking or do you know what I mean like I won't subscribe but I'll give their channel a, like a look at to see if it's something for me I just like to see if I'm interested because in my opinion regard like if someone is subscribed to you and you're like mutually subscribed to each other it doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually watching and enjoying your channel or that they're even interested in you do you know what I mean? To me, a lot of the time when it's this case, they're just playing a numbers game and I don't like that quite frankly. That's not what it's about for me and so I don't promote that kind of thing in my life. I've also had um, a sneakier way that people have asked me, sort of the generic, oh I love this video, um, I make videos too or I make similar content too, do you want to subscribe to each other? Or just subbed would love for you to return the favour sort of thing you know those generic sort of phrases and then I'm sitting there thinking like did you even watch the video I hope I don't come across rude or petty in this because it's actually something I'm quite passionate about and I just want to make sure you understand what I mean um so yeah I'm just sitting there like did you even watch the video for one because I go to their channel and it can be completely unrelated to anything that I've ever done and I'm like well no you don't make similar content so why did you say that do you know what I mean and for for the second, it's like, at least make a comment that's related to the video, not just the generic, oh, I love this video. Say something that you actually enjoyed about the video, like if it's a book review, um, say something about if you've read it or not, do you know what I mean? If it's a makeup thing, say, oh, I've tried this, but I've not tried that. Do you know what I mean? Like, make it um, sort of specialised to the video and then say your piece, because then I can see that you're sort of interested. Do you know what I mean? You've stuck around to at least take note of something that I've said. And it just makes me have a bit more faith in your honesty, which is, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just something that goes through my mind. I don't know about you, but when I get a comment through, sometimes, I don't know if it was a glitch or something, but it actually showed me how far a person had watched before they commented. Don't get me wrong, I, I comment halfway through videos quite often. But it's just for the sole reason that I don't want to forget what I want to say. And quite often times I then go and edit the comment to add more of the video. Or I'll just play it like, I hope it's not seen as spam, but I'll just like add another comment after it like as I go through. Do you know what I mean? And it's almost like a conversation because I'm directly responding to this specific part of the video. And then I'll continue watching it and then I'll respond to that part. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just one big one which sometimes I still do but it's honestly just because I don't want to forget what I want to have to say or sometimes I'll have the comment box open and I'll just type away as I see fit but I don't post it until the end of the video but yeah a lot of the time I don't see it as often now because I don't know if it was a glitch or whatever but I just see people have only watched like a couple of minutes and then they've started writing that and I'm like have you actually taken the time to consider my channel and just to see if it actually is interesting to you because I don't want people subscribing to me if they're not actually interested like what where is the fun in that I don't want to bore you I don't want to waste your time and I don't want you to be a ghost just drifting on my channel I want to engage with people and I want to make friends because I don't know about you but that's why I made a YouTube channel it's one of the reasons anyway if this is the case for the comments that I'm referring to then so be it I totally understand that I can totally accept that if not like 
come on <laughs> at least watch the whole thing or at least the majority of it before you start asking me to subscribe to you and then i'll never see you again do you know what i mean and as <laughs> this is where i get a little bit angry as for the just subbed crap <laughs> i actually get email notifications and um, they come through on my phone as well when someone has subscribed to me and a lot of the time i've come across people who haven't done jack shit they've just said oh i've subscribed subscribe to me too and they actually haven't subscribed because i do check these things i want to make sure that you're not just using me basically i don't like that feeling and so i will try to avoid it at any cost you know i am bearing in mind that some people do have their subscriptions um privated but these i'm talking about like the channels that have their subscriptions like um public for all to see who they're subscribed to and these are the ones that i'm talking about right now that actually haven't subscribed to me i haven't got an email notification and i've looked on the i'm a bit of a weirdo i look on their channel to see if they have and they haven't <laughs> But yeah, I check because I'm lame like that and I don't want to be screwed over. Like, honestly, if you have a genuine interest in myself or the, the videos that I provide and you want to subscribe and start like to make friends and stuff, I'm all about that. But don't be lying just to try and up your subscription numbers, to try and be someone on the interwebs. Because it's very hard to do and I feel like in, in those sort of cases you're not really, des not that you're not deserving of it, but you're not actually trying in the right way to be successful. Do you know what I mean? Oh, and the one thing that really rubs me the wrong way is when people are doing this and they clearly have a really good following or it's way more than mine anyway. And it just bothers me because it almost feels greedy. Like, why are you going about this way, doing all these negative things that I've, that I've just mentioned when you've already got such a good following? And I can totally understand wanting to grow your channel, especially if you want to make it like a living for yourself. But when you're targeting younger not younger um smaller channels and you're kind of feeding off of the fact like oh i can make a friend here or if, uh, if other people are smaller channels and they're just about the numbers game as well it's like yeah sure let's sub to sub and really you're just helping these larger uh, channels get bigger and bigger because they're probably not doing the same for you do you know what i mean like not that you should give to receive but it's all about respect to me and yeah <laughs> i knew this was gonna be a deep one for me oh my god <laughs> I've been putting off filming it for so long. <laughs> On another note, I want to talk a little bit about um, support groups, like where you can join on like maybe Facebook or Google Plus or other social media groups about YouTube channels. You can have one specific to what you do. I'm more of a variety channel, so I just join ran like ran. Oh, what's the word? generalized small channel youtubers or maybe i might look up for british youtubers do you know what i mean like so categorize that that, that that are there to sort of support and help your channel grow um you can kind of benefit from each other you can make friends and it's, it's really nice but i've had a negative experience with one um some groups ended up turning into for me a view catcher as opposed to a subscriber catcher if you know what i mean um so when i thought it was all about the support and just sharing positivity and trying to get our names out there and find friends and stuff um it's just turned out just as bad as someone asking for a sub for sub basically so join groups make friends but just be wary of what they're asking you as part of the group like the admin for one group that i was in was so intense it made me feel like i was being shouted at for voicing my opinion on something and honestly i hated that because it made me feel small it didn't make me feel like i wanted to be a part of that community anymore so i ended up leaving and i just didn't like the way he was approaching anything basically um, maybe i'm mixing this intensity for passion in what he's doing which i can totally understand totally respect but i actually feel like no he didn't like what i had to say which wasn't even anything negative or anything um and so he basically had a go at me <laughs> honestly though whether it is passion or just intensity and being a bit rude and getting the wrong end of the stick no respect and tone it down a little bit because you are repelling people in the way that you approach yourself as admins of groups that's supposed to be there to help you you know what i mean I've said you know what I mean so many times in this video I just I can't I can't do it anymore <laughs> so look just don't let this come across as me being hateful or jealous even of the growth and success of people on YouTube I understand that you want to make something of your channel I really do I can totally understand that especially if it is like a career driven path for you but I've learned from experience that sub for sub just in the long run it just doesn't work it's quite pointless um maybe some people can make it work but to me personally it just doesn't it falls flat every time you might mo you most likely won't even gain loyal subscribers and you might even end up pissing off people that could probably actually enjoy your content 
you know, from being too pushy on them and, you know, being spam-like in nature as well as, you know, not showing an actual interest in supporting them in return. Just having an, a generalised interest in numbers because it is a numbers game, this sub for sub malarkey. To me, it is definitely a numbers game. Honestly, out of this community, I have actually found some mutual people who we've subscribed to and I've found true true friends like honestly i found so many friends in this but i did want to just highlight the negativity of a simple sub for sub i feel like people should take into consideration what they mean by that are you actually going to be supporting each other are you going to be regularly interested in watching their videos because that's another thing i don't want you to just feel like you have to watch my videos i want you to come to me subscribe if you have like a similar content or whatever because you want to because you enjoy what i do and i want to feel the same about a person that i'm subscribed to as well and if they if we're then mutually subscribed that's even better because wow clearly we found someone that we can relate to so yeah and that my friends is my thoughts on why i don't sub the sub and please don't hate me <laughs> i felt like it'd be easier to just put this video out there and so if people keep asking me then maybe i can link them to this <laughs> but then again maybe that's pushing my content onto them i don't know but yeah um I hope this explains because I know sometimes when you're replying to people it can come off like blunt as fuck especially if you're saying no I don't sub for sub but I'm not being rude I just want it I've just got asked so many times and it's irritating because you know it's annoying I don't want to do that it says it in my descriptions of stuff do you know what I mean so that is it shows that people aren't taking the time to look into your your life I guess they're not taking the time to look into it properly and be like oh oh sorry they don't do that let me maybe ask them in a different way like oh I do videos like this you do too would you mind checking out my channel maybe we could find like a friendship here or something that'd be a nice way of asking it and I've asked um things like that as well in the past and it's come into fruitation but other times it's been like oh no uh, I'm not really interested so that's perfectly fine as well just don't come all beggy <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you've had any experiences with Sub the Sub and how it works for you. Um, yeah, I'd be interested in, in knowing your thoughts on this sort of topic. A little bit different to what I usually do, but I thought it would be interesting and helpful to some of you guys as well. So with that being said, I'll speak to you in another video soon. Bye.